Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I am not Justin, I am Summer. And today I'm gonna to show you a really cool gift we got from one of our Instagram subscribers. She sent us three miniature ball pythons. Unfortunately, they're not real, but they are super realistic. She custom painted them and they actually have a magnet inside of them too. So if you take off the necklace the string, you can actually use them on your refrigerator or any other magnetic surface. And it's just such an awesome gift. And what's really special about these is that they're custom painted to match snakes produced here at Canova. And actually we have two of these snakes still in the collection. So I thought that we would take these miniatures and compare them to the real deal. Okay, we'll start with the animal that we don't actually have anymore. This is the Spotnose Leopard Desert Ghost. And she based it off this photo that we put in our stories. So we'll throw up that picture along with some pictures of it as a baby so that you can see the differences and the similarities between the actual animal and her recreation of it. But what a phenomenal job she did. And there's actually a lot of detail in these beyond just the color. There's heat pits and there's a little mouth line where the upper and lower jaw meet. And it's really, really just awesome the amount of detail that she put into this and making them anatomically correct and the proportions all just so perfect. It's really like a little baby snake that's just gonna always fit in the palm of your hand. So really cool. All right, so the next miniature that she gave us was modeled after a snake that we do still have here. It's a fire hypo desert ghost, and it is one of the most beautiful combinations, especially as it ages, because between the fire, the hypo, and the desert ghost, all three of those are really, really lightening and brightening. So you can see that in the miniature she's made, the beautiful coloration, the lightened base color because of that hypo and the super bright saddle colors. And I didn't mention this before, but the eyes are actually rounded and they distend out from the face. And it is just so cool. I mean, I honestly don't know how she did it. Like, I don't know how you could do anything this small and make it look so realistic and just so true to life. But let's take a look at this girl and see what she looks like now. All right, so this girl's about to be gravid, so I'm gonna be extra careful with her but look at those amazing colors. She is phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. And yeah, what an awesome animal to have picked to have this, you know, this miniature made. We didn't actually tell her which snakes to make. She just picked the ones that she liked. So she did a good job, I think. And Angia, I believe that's how you say your name. Thank you so much, we, we love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this girl up because I don't wanna disturb her too much, but just incredible, incredible, incredible snake. Excited for her to have some babies later on this year. Okay, so the last miniature she sent us was based off one of the coolest snakes I think has ever been produced here. It's the ODYB Fire Spotnose Leopard Desert Ghost. And this animal is just incredible. You can see in the figurine, I mean, what an amazing pattern, how it's essentially kind of flip-flopped the pattern. So the majority of the snake is that light cream colored, and then there's just little blobs of black. And honestly, it seems like this would be something that would have to be made up. You know, like this wouldn't actually be a real ball python, but it is. So let me show her to you. She is just as cool as the miniature would have you believe. She has this amazing pattern going down her neck. It's almost like a ladder. It reminds me of a motley boa. I don't know if you guys know what that looks like, but it's kind of the pattern a motley boa has. And yeah, she's just this amazing, amazing light yellow pale cream colored. Justin uh, calls her the cookies and cream snake. And I can definitely see that because she has these little spots all over her. I remember when we took her to the Schomburg show, she was definitely the crowd favorite. She was the one that when I asked everybody who came by the booth, oh, what, what snake, you know, what was your favorite snake that you saw? Pretty much uh, bar none, this was the one that everybody said. So what an amazing girl. And I think it's funny now that I'm going through all these animals, every snake that the miniature was made of has desert ghosts in it. So that just goes to show you how incredible desert ghost makes everything look. It's inspiring to people who breed ball pythons as well as people who make miniature clay versions of them. But yeah, this is an amazing girl. Uh, she's getting big now and I'm excited to see what she's able to produce because she's been one of my favorites since she hatched. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed 
taking a look at those miniatures and comparing and contrasting them with their real life counterparts. I don't know about you, but I was super impressed with the accuracy and just how detailed she was in her representation. So if you're interested in getting some of these for yourself, she has an Etsy shop called Noodle Miniatures where she has some pre-made that you can order and you can also get your own customizable miniatures to look like your ball pythons or maybe a ball python that you wish you owned. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in Friday for the vlog with Justin.